The next microphone specification that I'm going to show you is polar pattern. And the way that we generate polar patterns within the anechoic chamber is actually pretty interesting. What happens is similar to the frequency response measurement where the speaker is going to output a level to the microphone, but this time, instead of varying the frequency, the frequency will stay the same that's coming out of the speaker. And what we're going to do instead is spin this microphone 360 degrees and as the microphone turns, its sensitivity will be reflected in the output graph. So we'll actually get to see where the microphone is most receptive to sound and where it isn't. In this particular example, we're still using the Audio-Technica AT4050. And this microphone is interesting because it's a condenser that's a dual diaphragm and has this cool switch on the front that we can change. So we can actually generate a cardioid, a figure eight, and an omni pattern from this one microphone. Let's go out to the computer and I'll show you how. So we're all ready to go in the chamber now. We're gonna graph this polar pattern and you'll see that as the microphone rotates that the graph is creating what you know as the cardioid polar pattern. 